You're tuned in to Dynamics Talk, hosted by the one and only Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Now, I'm sure that most of you are probably familiar with the hierarchy control for model-driven apps that was part of the application before. This control actually allowed us to review one-to-many self-referencing relationships of a table. So, for example, think about a parent account that could have several child accounts. Now, I think it's important to have a control like this because it really provides clear visibility on how the data is connected. And it's also easier to understand the data when you're viewing it through a control like that. Now, this was actually a control that was deprecated back in October of 2024, but we still had the ability to enable this and use this control through October of 2025. After this, you're not going to be able to use this control anymore and it will be removed from the application. Now, I have some good news for you. As part of 2025 Release Wave 2, there is a hierarchy relationship visualizer tool that you now can use for these types of situations. Now, Microsoft is saying this is not a replacement of the hierarchy tool, right? The legacy hierarchy tool that I was just discussing. This is actually a completely new tool. The other thing that's super exciting is that this tool is currently in preview and during the preview period, we're going to be able to use those relationships from the same table. But in the future, we're going to be able to add other tables to the view as well. So I'm super excited about that. Let me show you how you can configure this and then what it looks like inside of the application. I did want to mention that this hierarchy control is actually part of Dynamics 365 sales. I wanted to say that because the previous control wasn't really tied to any of the Dynamics 365 apps, but this one actually is. And another thing that's important to understand though, is that once an administrator has configured and published a hierarchy visualization, it's actually going to become available for anybody that has access to the organization. So they don't have to have a Dynamics 365 sales license to access that hierarchy. And as I mentioned earlier as well, this is version one, which is currently in preview, which will support the single table hierarchies, meaning that you're only gonna be able to show the relationships in one single table, but in version two, it's gonna have support for multi-tables. So we're gonna be able to view relationships between different tables and multiple tables as well, right? So think about uh, accounts and contacts, right? You can have one account that has several contacts. That's multi-tables uh, relationships that we would be able to show that. Now, if you currently don't see this in your tenant, I believe by the end of this month, everybody should have access to this. So just, just wait for a little bit if you don't see it. Now, the first thing that I wanted to show you here is the configuration of this control because guess what this is not going to happen in a power platform admin center it's not going to happen at make.powerapps.com it's actually going to happen in the sales hub and once the feature has been deployed in your environments you're going to be able to see the visual hierarchy navigation item on the app settings area so let me just go ahead and go to app settings and then you're going to be able to see here visualize a visual hierarchy. So it's called visual hierarchy on the sitemap. And this is where you can start those configurations. So let's go ahead and create a new hierarchy configuration. So I'm going to click here on new and I'm going to put the name in here first. So I'm going to say accounts. And then you can see here, you have to click inside here to select the table for which you want to create that hierarchy record. So I'm going to use account for this, and then I'm going to click add. And once I do that, you'll notice here that I need to select the column with the parent ID. So that's really that relationship, right? So I'm going to say that's that parent account ID. That's the field that I want to use, the column that I want to use 
for that relationship. Now, the other thing that we can do here, as you can see, it says which view should be used. Now, I like having the option to select a view because this is going to allow me to filter the data based on the view that is selected, right? So it looks like when you are utilizing this particular control, you can actually associate that with a view. So I'm just going to leave that by default. This is set to whatever active tape, right? Act active record for that table in this particular uh, case, it's active accounts. If I would create one for context, it would show active contacts, but I can also create a different view as well. Then the other thing that you see below here is which form should be shown as tile. Now with the previous control, we could only use quick view forms like the account hierarchy tile form, right? That was the only one that could be used to visualize that data. Now these forms also only show the first three columns on that control. And you could have dragged more controls on that account hierarchy tile form, but it didn't matter, right? Only the first three would show up in the control. Now this new hierarchy control allows us to choose the form that we want to be used for the tile. This is not restricted to quick view forms, right? So keep that in mind. I can also go in and, and say, I want to select a full form, a uh, main form, I should say, right? I can do that as well. And the other thing that I wanted to mention here is that instead of the three columns that I just mentioned that were displayed on the previous control, a maximum of seven columns can be displayed on the form. But keep in mind that only basic data columns will be supported. So those are strings, dates, and numbers. So let me just go ahead and actually select the account card. Here we go. That's my account card. So we only have two, as you can see, right? Two columns over here. If I go to the account card form, I have a little bit more. So let's just do that one. And then it shows which form should be shown as details. If you actually are viewing at the hierarchy, you actually have the ability to open that record in a sidecar. And what it's going to say right now is, okay, well, which form should we open in the sidecar? I actually want to go ahead and do my regular account form. That is my main form uh, for this particular table. Now let's go down a little bit further here, or let's go up. I should say here you can see the tile display option. So we also have the ability to show a picture or hide the picture to change the color and to also adjust the tile size size as well. And we couldn't do that before. So these are some pretty new features uh, over here. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and just save this. And then I can also go ahead and preview this. I could also do that earlier, by the way. So here you can kind of see what that looks like, right? Here we have the primary contact who is Angel. I have an owner, account name, etc. Now, if I want to make changes, since I just saved this, I didn't publish it, I can do that. So let's go ahead and now use the account card instead. Again, let's do that preview. This is going to look a little bit different, right? I kind of like the way that this looks, right? I can also click on here and see additional child accounts that are tied to these accounts above there. And once this actually looks good, I can go ahead and publish. As long as you're not publishing this particular visual hierarchy configuration, other users will not be able to access it. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And I'm going to click here on OK. And now if I go back here to sales, I'm going to go to accounts. Let's just go ahead and see the new view hierarchy button over here. And this is what that looks like, right? I can go ahead and review the bottom one. If I want to go ahead and review the form for this account, I can just click on it. And here is my main form for this particular account record. And then of course, if I want to go ahead and open this in a new window, full screen, I can do that as well. And now I have access to those details as well. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention, what about if you want to make changes right to this configuration? 
I can go back here to my app settings. I can go back here to my visual hierarchy. And as you can see here, I can now unpublish, make my changes, right? Because I cannot make any changes this way. So I can unpublish, I can make my changes and I can republish directly from there as well. So what do you guys think? This is pretty cool, right? And like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, as soon as we can start adding additional tables to view those relationships as well, I think this is gonna be a game changer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.